I'm packing again. What do you say? Is it surprising though? Is it really? No. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mahitu. Today we're packing for New York. We're gonna spend a little Christmassy time there for about 48 hours. We're just gonna go see family and come back. So I thought it would be fun to pack with you and reminisce on 2023 because 2023 was a great year. So yeah, sometimes it's nice to reminisce and think of all the great things you did and all the things you could improve a little bit. <laughs> so let's go. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of things in my suitcase. So I'm gonna bring this, this polar from Aritzia. Ta-da! I have not stopped wearing it ever since I got it. Best purchase, in love, obsessed, buy it if you can. And I have this cardigan that I bought actually the last time I went during the holidays in New York from Zara. And then I'm gonna bring another cardigan, this black one with like a peplum. Is it peplum? No, it's like puff sleeves. Yeah, puff sleeves. And then the last top that I think I'm gonna bring, or like for now, it's this white bodysuit from Aritzia. And then I have Abercrombie jeans, these ones that I love. And like, little tops and whatnot so as i was saying 2023 was so so eventful i didn't think it would be that eventful and so i'm really really happy that it happened the way it happened and that i documented it like that's crazy the amount of times i go back and watch my freaking portugal trip is insane like if somebody actually counted i would be brought to a mental institute because seriously i cannot get over it but forever my roman empire i guess also i have disinfected this suitcase so i'm gonna put it on my bed sue me all right so january was just a very slow month but i had started my internship in pharmaceuticals and i was so stressed out i remember i was like oh my god like are they gonna like me you know i have a pretty likable personality if i do see so myself but you know you never know and it's a new dynamic like it's a whole different freaking realm but yeah i started it it was very nice it was very different so i needed to adjust but at the same time it was like the first time that i didn't study it was so weird like <laughs> i didn't know what to do with myself with my life so i started my hobbies back i started reading again i started cooking again it was so fun it was truly the funnest semester i've had then <laughs> february came by and it was also very relaxing um, didn't do much very tried to focus on my self-care and myself and my YouTube I was trying to navigate that I really found out what I liked doing and stopped kind of doing things that would maybe be out of what I like just as simple as that and then March came around and it was my birthday month the beginning of the year was all chilling <laughs> and so I had my birthday it was so nice my friends like they had planned a supper for me didn't expect that my bestie brought me a gift basket didn't expect that at all I literally was crying and it was just amazing just being surrounded by friends it's so nice to just see like physically and like with your eyes <laughs> how much you're loved it it's just uncomparable and then in april i got a new job i got a new job i finished school i finished my bachelor's degree <laughs> i presented my project and it passed with flying colors and then i got the job in the the company where i interned in and i accepted of course <laughs> so that was the biggest change we celebrated it of course and i was very very excited but it was obviously very different so i had to leave my 
job that I worked at for five years and it was very emotional because I love them but it was time for a change of course I think I'm gonna wear this tomorrow because it's not gonna fit then in May May I started my new job I was just working and then on Thursdays I would go to like we have this thing in Montreal called Saint Cassette and it's very important so <laughs> I went to a lot of Saint Cassettes on Thursdays with my friend and it was kind of our like little routine we would finish work in Montreal we would head downtown and just like change our clothes and dance the night away you know have a little drink and talk and just walk around in the city with the beautiful weather so it was fun it was really fun I did that also in June so it was really nice and then in June we we went with my best friend to Portugal I think y'all know what we did I think Portugal was like the best memory one of the best trips I've ever done but I think it was just the fact that we were so comfortable like financially mentally like with our friendship like it was just so fun and there were no fights there were no problems there were nothing we were so lucky in everything we had lucky 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 and so i think it was just our time it was like the perfect time all the stars were aligned and i had the most amazing time seriously like if you had the chance to go to portugal or even just on a trip with your best friend please do it please do it it changes every thing it changed me it really did it really really did <laughs> i think it kind of kick-started my second half of the year out of traveling when i got back it was a little bit of like family time and friends time because it was like a national holiday in quebec and then it was the uh, country's holiday in canada so there were parties there were chillings we had fun and then afterwards in july it was just a lot of fun as well spending the most amazing time in the summer and with my friends and it was just all in all so nice i started working a little bit less started uh, working on my hobbies doing a lot of youtube and yeah it was very very nice and then in july i graduated of course i was already done like i already technically had my diploma but it was a ceremony so it was so fun i was very excited to do it because i had waited for so long i have worked for three years and it was not easy it was very nice my family was there we went to, to eat at a restaurant afterwards milos it was so expensive but it was delicious i went to new york again to see my sister and we just spent a little weekend together and it was very nice i had never seen new york in the summer so it was a first still giving those amazing vibes i love new york and that's why I'm excited to go. Then my sister got married, so we went to that, but it was so fun and so cute. I love, love, I love it. <laughs> I think that was it. Like I done a lot of fun things. I went to a drag show, it was so nice. Always go with my friend, Eric Lavia. And then, yeah, August went by so quickly. And then I was back to school. I know, I just said that I graduated. <laughs> but I'm trying to get into another program and I'm trying to help my GPA get better. Like I wanna up my GPA, so I am taking a couple of classes. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of rough in the beginning it was just the fact that i was back in school and not doing what i thought i would be doing um but everything in time and we stay positive so i gave myself like this year to just work on my things work on youtube work on the things that i liked i feel like it's a sign from god it's a sign it's always a sign <laughs> And then in October, I went to London. I can't even believe that I did that. Like, it was just a decision that I took on a whim. 
in August. I took the ticket and I decided I was going to London. It was so fun. I vlogged, of course, solo at that. And it was like the most amazing trips. Like I've done the greatest trips like ever during this year. Seriously, like it was just the perfect travel year for me. It was amazing, amazing. So I just decided to go alone and I wanted to go alone on a trip for a while and I've learned how to you know have the time of a life with myself and so I decided to go so if you ever have the opportunity to go on a solo trip not overseas even you could do like a three hour away from home solo trip please do it it changes your perception of life of people of your relationships I feel like I'm a new person I feel like I'm a new person <laughs> definitely one of my highlights I loved it I loved it so much I want to go back and then in November it was grind season it was end of semester starting to come season it was study 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 and work for your finals season but in November on the last day I hit 1k subscribers I can't believe it I feel like I started it a month ago but it's been like almost three years since I started filming videos can you believe that like I still can't believe it I feel like a new youtuber still but I'm so so happy I worked so hard and it happened it really happened and so I'm very grateful for that and then here we are in December I finished my semester I just I'm chilling at home and I'm going to New York for the very last trip of 2023. I hope 2024 is even more grand, okay? I hope that for me, for you, for anybody who's listening, I hope that we get whatever we deserve. I wanna take a moment to say thank you so much for watching my videos. I am so grateful for you, <laughs> for my milestones. Thank you so much for watching my videos and commenting sometimes or all the time. I see you, I appreciate you, you're amazing. I hope we get to see each other in 2024. So I'm just very thankful for you and we'll be celebrating in 2024. We'll be having fun, more fun. We'll be having more travels and we'll be content with everything that God has intended for us. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. It might be New York. It might be another one. We never know. But I love you guys. Bye. Let's go to New York.